My name is Eloy, and I am old. These days, I'm content to look out at the world from high in the white arch. But when I was younger, I traveled the world and saw many great wonders. And of all the tales I could tell, none is more wonderful than that of Adam, Prince of Mo. Once again on the rampage, thirsty for blood and carnage, their leader was the dreaded Marcus Rex. The years of uneasy peace had come to an end. that had once united humans and dinosaurs was lost, and none could stem the pitiless tide that swept down from the north. of safety, the citadel at Mo, in the kingdom of Mashar. King Gregor, Adam's father, brooded within the castle's massive walls, unwilling or unable to see that Marcus Rex would never stop until the whole world lay bleeding at his feet. on the very day Prince Adam came of age. I had just arrived at Mo with grave news from the north. My...
to meet you. Adam, my son, I asked old monk to send you here. I fear this day of your coming of age will not be the joyous occasion we had planned. This is Eloy, and he brings grave news from the north. Eloy? My lords, the city of Shamar has been attacked and destroyed by the Tyran. The humans there have been slaughtered and taken for food. There are few survivors. Shamar destroyed. It seems Morcus Rex and his Tyran hordes will not rest until the whole world has been turned to blood and ashes. See the dangers which lie outside our fortress, Adam. Its mighty walls are all that stand between us and destruction. You must remain within the Citadel. This is my order. You are my only surviving child, the heir to the throne of Mashar. Your duty is here in the Citadel of Mo with your people. Never forget that your sister and your mother, my beloved Jelana, were murdered not more than one day's march from here. The same fate must not befall you. I may visit you in your room later. surviving child, the heir to the throne of Masha. Your duty is here in Mo. Forget your dreams of exploring the world. For 
forgive me for entering your room, Prince Adam, but I have a message which should not reach the king's ears. The female Dina wishes urgently to speak with you outside. She has unlocked the gate to the side entrance so you'll be able to slip out without being seen. It's my duty as a guest of your father to remind you of his wishes. I understand you're curious about the world outside. My grandfather, Tao, is dying and begs to speak with you. Let me take you to him. No one will see us. You have come, and in spite of your father's orders, uh, I respect his feelings, but there are things that I must tell you while there is still time. As you know, the Citadel of Mo was built during the reign of your great-grandfather, the architect. Now, he had a Saurian friend named Gra, who knew the mysterious secret of the Citadel's construction. But when the Enslaver, your grandfather, came to the throne, Gra was hunted down with the others. The Enslaver left him to die deep beneath the Citadel in the crypts of Abandon. You must go to the crypts. My granddaughter will go with you. She knows the way. And she understands those whom you may not. It is true. I have the gift of understanding those who speak in strange tongues. Gra is dead. But his secret lies with his remains. In the crypts of Abandon. You have come of... Before I depart this life, I want to give you this shell. It is an object. With it, you can call out to me in the Valley of Mists. If it is in my power to help you, I will. It is time. The ancestors beckon me. Farewell, my children. Grandfather Tao will know peace amongst the ancestors. He deeply regretted that your father refused to listen to him. But by your coming here, at least he died contentedly, with hope for the future.
not leave King orders like a bad king. Poor Grandfather Tao, I loved him deeply. 